Assalamu alaikum. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome with another uh, entertaining uh, series of uh, quiz competitions. And I hope uh, you will enjoy it. And uh, I have only one request accept the challenge and uh, WhatsApp me your score, you know, and the challenge is you have to achieve 100% score. That means all the questions you have to give answers correctly. Even though uh, right after uh, the question slide, you'll get the answer as well on the next slide, but that doesn't mean that you have to go directly on the slide where you're gonna get the answer. So be honest and be open to give your answers and please don't shy to share your results. So our WhatsApp number is already written there like 0096659. 8903439. So you can share your WhatsApp uh, score on WhatsApp honestly, actually. So let's see who will be the winner and how you're gonna, uh, all guys are going to, you know, enjoy this uh, competition in China. So it's a, it's a self challenge. Uh, I'm not going to like uh, engage uh, plenty of people, even though I got requests, you know, but to be very honest, just to uh, find out the audience globally, I uh, just simply decided, you know, to why not to make it uh, self quiz competition. So you are the judge, you are the one going to read the questions and you are the one going to give the answer. So let's see the results later on. And the moment you'll share to WhatsApp, hopefully I'll be able to share the results of like what would be the percentage of uh, the people who got 100% marks and uh, how many got above 90 or above 80 or above 70. But please be honest. I'm not going to share your name, your company name or anything, but I'll be just sharing the percentage in terms of uh, the result. So stay tuned for the result. So good luck for the competition. So let me start with the uh, first slide. And as I told you earlier, I gave you one question first, uh, like showing some pictures uh, with multiple choice options. You know, you need to find out and select the right option. And accordingly, you need to give the answer. So let's see how you respond to it. subscribe our channel because that is your daily learning club I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to give you something exciting and something productive for all of you especially for the uh, QHC professions like quality health safety environment and in future of course we're going to go for quality management as well as uh, food safety and plenty of other areas of uh, uh, management systems inshallah so look at the question number one, it's a $100 question. So unobstructed exits. So you will see uh, two pictures. And the question is, exit, exit routes are required to be kept clear at all times. So before you move on for the options even, why don't you think right away, what would be your answer? read the answers correctly or listen the answer carefully and uh, let your brain give the right answer before even you read the options because if you're already a safety professional then it shouldn't be difficult for you but if you're not a safety professional then use your technical and logical skills and find out because the pictures are already in front of you exit routes are required to be kept clear at all times so the options are true or false so it's a hundred dollar question number one, either it's true or false. So please uh, uh, select your answer. What are you gonna do is question number one and the answer is A. So one A, then one B, then you know two C, whatever. Like I will sh be sharing different questions. So in sequence, you have to give the answer. So then uh, uh, otherwise you can just share your score honestly. And I will trust you to be very honest. Whatever score you're gonna share with me, I'll definitely accept it, you know, because I believe you guys are not going to cheat to yourself, right? 
So what would be your answer? Just read the question and find out uh, the answer from your brain, first of all, and later on, you can read the options, either it's true or false. So I, I'm sure you have selected your answer, but let me show you the right answer. Because exit rules are required to be kept clear at all the times, and it's a true answer, $100 question number one. So let's move to the question number two. It's Of the following statements is correct about exits. I repeat again, which of the following statements is correct about exits? Option A is exit routes need to be permanent, clear, access 24 7, or exit routes may be blocked temporarily during construction in a workplace, or you believe accelerator and moving walkways can be used to access emergency exits. And the last option, D, is Exit routes may be blocked temporarily by protection as long as it's clear at the end of the shift. So uh, I'm sure most of uh, all of you already understood as per the first question as well. So the answer is A. So it's a $200 question. But before you see the option, you have to think about what is the right answer. Let's move to the question number three, $300 question. pictures one two three four total four pictures are there and it's around one of course and which one of the pictures above is acceptable as i told you earlier before even you see the options why not why don't you ask your brain or your mind you know what would be the right answer okay which one of the pictures above is acceptable look at picture number one Either it is acceptable or you believe it's not acceptable. Look at picture number two, three, and four. And let your logics or your technical knowledge to give you the right answer. Otherwise, I'm going to share the options. You can choose the option uh, as per your understanding. And of course, uh, I, I'm going to share again you know, the answer in the next slide, inshallah. So option A is one is acceptable as you can still get to the exit. And option number B is two and three are blocked, but will be clear at the end of the shift. Four is good as the door is open for easy access. And the last option D is none of the above. Now, what would be your answer? Please rethink and Find out the answer by yourself. Otherwise, of course, I'm going to share the answer in the, in the next slide, right? So the right answer is none of the above. None of the above. Because exit routes or the fire exit doors must be kept clear all the time, 24 hours. Even a smallest blockage is not acceptable. They must be 100% clear, unobstructed. Let's move to the question number four, 500. <laughs> the question is, which of the following statements is correct about exits? I repeat again, which of the following statements is correct about exits? Now, before I share the options, what do you think, what kind of options will be given, uh, you know, and the options like A, B, C, D, what kind of answers can be there? Like which of the following statements is correct about exit? So I'm going to share few options and maybe one would be right or maybe all would be right or correct. So look at the option number one, exit doors may not be opening from the outside, only opening inside out. Option B is exit doors may, may be locked from the inside. 
And option C is exit doors must be open from the inside and allow unobstructed exit from the building or both A and C. Now, pass, think, and find out the right answer. It's a question number four, $500 question. And your challenge is you have to achieve 100% score, 100% marks. That means all your answers must be correct. So take your time. You have options given below already. You have some experience, even if you are a fresher, even if you are not a safety manager, you are a general manager might be, you are a project manager might be. So uh, this computation is giving you a chance. How are you gonna think, you know, which option is correct? Because on a daily basis, you will be saying a lot of uh, fire exit doors and you know, how you are maintaining them. So look at the options and let me know your answer. Do you think this uh, option A is correct or B or C or D? So let me show the answer. So it's both A and C. So exit doors may not be opening from the outside, only opening inside out. So inside out, while I'm going through the fire exit or working towards fire exit door, it should open from inside out, not from the outside in, right? So exit doors must be open from the inside and allow unobstructed exit from the building. So the right answer is D. the picture first it's a round one there would be three rounds like each round would have five questions so this is the last question of round number one if exit exits routes are unavailable during construction repair or maintenance which statement is correct i repeat again if exits exit routes are unavailable during construction repairs or maintenance which statement is correct and the option I'm going to share with you, option A is as long as one alternate exit is available, it is allowed to continue working. Option B is employees cannot occupy the area until the exits are available. Employees can still work in the area or you believe none of the above. So again, stop. Think logically, technically, as per your experience or as per your education, find out the right answer. I repeat, the challenge is to achieve 100% marks and you need to WhatsApp me your score honestly, then surely I'll be publishing the result in chat. But you need to give the honest because you have the question and the very next uh, step, I'm gonna share the answer as well. So read the options again and decide your answer. Otherwise, I'm share the answer. I'm going to share the answer. So the answer is, employees cannot occupy the area until the exits are available. So that means exits must be available. It's a mandatory zero tolerance requirement. Now, question number six, $2,000 question is there. In round two, we are going to move on. I hope uh, in round one, your result will be good. <laughs> Only one exit is required, regardless of the workplace layout or number of workers. Only one exit is required, regardless of the workplace layout or number of workers. So what do you think, I mean, before I shared the options, why don't you think by yourself, what would be the right answer? Only one exit is required regardless of the workplace layout or number of workers. Do you think it's true or it's false? The statement above is given is true or false? Only one exit is required, regardless of the workplace layout or number of workers. So it's false. Okay, guys. So let's move to the question number seven. $4,000 question is there. I hope uh, 
uh, you'll be going uh, with a better shape because uh, most of but now uh, let's see how even they respond to this result so uh, question number seven four thousand dollars question generally how many exits minimum are required like you are especially in your like boilers furnaces and refrigeration plants you know like you have a manufacturing plant so how many number of exits minimum you required to design even while you are constructing your building so in advance you need to design how many number of exits minimum so let me before i share the option you can think stop and think the answer in your mind otherwise look at the options either you believe there must be one exit minimum or two or three or four so it's question number seven four thousand dollars question i hope you have decided your answer and the right answer is you tell me what is your right answer that is why i'm telling you need to whatsapp uh, honestly your result otherwise i'm going to share the right answer the right answer is b that means minimum two so minimum two exits must be there okay guys so minimum two fire exits or minimum two exits must be there now question number <laughs> Five hundred people, and one additional exit for each additional five hundred. But ensuring everyone can safely evacuate is critical. So, which is correct? I repeat again: generally, the number of exits is two exits for five hundred people, and one additional exit for each additional five hundred. But ensuring everyone can safely uh, like evacuate is critical. Which is correct? So before you see the option, why don't you think? You know how many we required. So option A is for a workplace with six hundred fifty people, they should have four exits, and for a workplace with six hundred fifty people, they should have three exits. Or the evacuation drills will assess if the number of exits is okay, regardless of the day, regardless of the time of the day. Or you believe it's all of the above. So if you have uh, some math skills or some accounting or finance skills, of course, you, your answer should be on your fingertips. But let's see who is going to give the right answer. So stop, think, and decide your right answer. This question number eight, eight thousand dollars question, and I hope you have now decided your answer. And let me share with you the right answer. Says B, for a workplace with six hundred fifty people, they should have. You have to read the question carefully before even you jump in to read the options or deciding your answer. If you don't understand the question, first of all, it would be harder for you to give the right answer. Certain conditions must be met. So the option A is the number of employees could safely evacuate in an emergency. The factory layout means all could safely evacuate in an emergency. Or option C is the size of the building means all could safely evacuate in an emergency. Or all of the above. So what do you think? Read the options carefully. Question is already in front of you. Options are already in front of you. Now you need to decide technically, logically, as per your experience or as per your education, what would be the right answer. If you understand the legal laws or you understand some of the reg uh, regulatory requirements or some of the 
local or international standards, some information you have, of course, you must be capable to give the right answer. So rather than just assuming, why don't you think technically and logically and find out and see the answer later on, you know. So I hope well, you have decided your answer, but let me show the right answer. Now, question number 10, $32,000 question is there. Look at the picture, your emergency exits are here and here. Answer is most correct. So that might be all the answers are uh, correct, you know. But which one is most correct? So that that is your challenge to, uh, you know, choose or decide which is the best answer, in your opinion. Now, the option A is that if one exit route is blocked by fire or smoke, employees can evacuate. Or that one exit can be blocked by production and employees can still evacuate, or that one exit may be locked and employees can still evacuate, or you believe that one exit may be obstructed and employees can still evacuate. So, what do you think? I repeat the question again the exit routes must be located as far away as practical from each other. So, which answer is most correct? It might be all four answers are correct, but what do you think? Which one is most correct? So stop, think, and find out your answer logically and technically. Otherwise, I'm going to share the answer. So the answer is A, that if one exit route is blocked by fire or smoke, employees can evacuate. you. So you're not going to stay if any like, you know, exit is already blocked with fire or smoke. So you immediately have to evacuate. You need to go to master point. It's not like to just, uh, you know, accept the risk for your life. I mean, your life is very much important for you, for your family. So no compromise at all, right? Now let's move to question number 11. $64,000 question is there. So it's the last round. $64,000 question. <laughs> I hope uh, if if you already like involved in the video you're watching and you are involved for this competition, of course uh, this question should be very much easier for you to give the answer. So exit doors should open which way? Must open outwards. Swing out in the direction of the exit travel, both A and B or. or doesn't matter as long as it's wide enough, or both A and B. So which option is correct? Exit door should open which way? Must open outwards, swing out in the direction of the exit travel, both A and B, or doesn't matter as long as it's wide enough. So what do you think? What would be your right answer? Take a few seconds. I hope you have decided your answer, note down, because later on you need to WhatsApp me your result. So the right answer is C, both A and B, right? Let's move to question number 12, $125,000. <laughs> power failure. I repeat again, power operated or automatic doors should be able to be manually opened in case of power failure, true or false. So decide your answer logically and technically. And because your challenge is to achieve 100% score or marks in this competition. So I hope your answer would be true. Let's move to question number 13. Exit doors must meet minimum height.
height and width requirements, which answer is not correct? So question number 13, $250,000 question is there. So option is the height must be minimum 2.03 meter. The width must be at least 32 inches or 81.3 centimeter. If the excess weighs must be at least 36 inches, 91.4 cm. Or doesn't matter as long as it's wide enough. Okay, guys. So decide your answer. You have four options along with the question. Take few seconds, take few minutes. I hope you have decided your answer. So let me show the right answer. Because what he asks is exit door must meet minimum height and width requirements, which answer is not correct. So D is not correct answer because doesn't matter as long as it's wide enough is not a good statement because technically everything must be specified and should be supported with the particular standard unit. Like we can't assume, we can't just uh, talk beyond the standards. Whatever we are referring, it must be referred through some uh, local or international or customer-based standards, right? So the right answer is D. Okay, the second last question of the competition is 500, 500 uh, you know, five lakh dollars question is there. That means 500. <laughs> So the option is all doors must be marked exit. It is not necessary to indicate the direction of the exit. Signs should be visible indicating direction of the exit. And best practice is to use a pictorial, not words. Signs should be in local language too. Now you have plenty of safety signs, warning signs at your site within your companies. So what do you think, what is the best strategy, you know, to uh, display all these warning signs or kind of safety signs? And uh, you have the options there. So find out your right answer. So will you go with A or B or C or D? Take your time. This is a $500,000 question number 14, the second last question of the competition of phase one because we I will share three competitions and this is the number one and then one more and the third one and uh, maybe I'll prepare more inshallah also. Let's enjoy the knowledge, let's make it entertaining and hopefully you will be enjoying it. So the right answer is you know, uh, this uh, look at, uh, you can study carefully this statement uh, or the option of C, like signs should be visible indicating direction of the exit and best practice to use pictorial, not words. So logically, technically, it looks the right answer, right? So C is the right answer. <laughs> My Saudi student, he mentioned, sir, if I, if I could have this $1 million, you will never see me back in Saudi Arabia. So I told him, you know, that is why you don't have that money, <laughs> because your intention is bad. You are a money lover, not your country lover. So love your country first. And then, of course, you will be having whatever desires you have. So achieving your personal goals is not a big deal. But achieving your country's goals is one of the major challenge, you know, and we must accept as a citizen of our country or even as a resident of our different countries, wherever we are working, we must be loyal and sincere with them. Okay, guys, the $1 million question. See, lighting should indicate the exit part. The requirements are the means of exit shall be lit up at all times while the building is occupied. 
Emergency power should supply lighting at least 90 minutes. Rail stairways, corridors, and exit stairways, ramps, and passageways should be lit up as well, and all of the above. So I hope uh, you will go with option. If you're clever enough, might be you already have the answer. Otherwise, let me tell you the right answer. So the right answer is D. Okay, guys. So I hope uh, you might have enjoyed this competition. So, uh, WhatsApp me your result whenever you get time to go for this competition and. It result later on you are the examiner you are the competitor because i believe sir done is well done let's try to put some energy as a self learning as a professional it's not like always you need to attend class based and face to face classes and then you're going to be capable no harm to learn online and through. And uh, no doubt, it required some motivation. So please uh, subscribe and like and share our channel. It's your channel, by the way. And then, inshallah, be part of this uh, uh, productive, helpful journey with me. So let's help our community. Let's support our uh, country, not only our country, even to every country of the world, because uh, training and development both are reciprocal, right? So we have to train ourselves and we have to train to others. And this is our noblest job in the world. And no, I would say one of the ethical responsibility as well. So I hope uh, you will try to create a hobby of uh, sharing and caring within yourself after watching this video and getting involved inshallah So what exactly you have to do is just enjoy this uh, competition and later on just share the result. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.